Hello and welcome to Unix Services Training. Please do visit us on unixservices.co.in. Uh, yum server. So we have server and client, whatever we had um, configured. So before we do anything, let us check what is the status of our uh, SE Linux. It is disabled. Let's check what is the status of our firewall, which blocks. So it's uh, system CTL and uh, status firewall D so firewall D is inactive it is dead that's good so let's do the same thing on our uh, client system as well and, uh, okay looks good so let's get started so as of now we are configuring our yum server so if we just use um, yum install or we'll just say yum repo list to list what is the repositories so as of now you can see there is no repositories which has been listed with our with, with our server so what we have to do is uh, we have to go ahead and uh, start configuring it before we configure we need to just make sure that we have the packages to distribute amongst our server to client so do we have the packages or we should have the dump which the dump has been provided from either DVD or you can download it from internet as of now in our case we are using a Citrix server where we have server and client so we would be going ahead and copying the content from the ISO file which is there present on our Citrix server. Let us see whether we have that. Uh... Okay so now let us go ahead and check whether do we have uh, the device mounted. It has been mounted. So <clears throat> we issued a command mount CD-ROM dev cd-rom and mount to get it mounted and now if you see it is being mounted let's get into the directory mnt type ls so here we have the packages which is there so we want to copy this packages from uh, <coughs> this machine to the local disk of the server so we'll use cp copy dash r and we'll define the directory that is mnt packages star to copy to root packages uh, root or we'll just directly copy to packages so okay so we'll, we have not yet created the directory so we'll just use mkdir packages and now we'll just rerun the command so as of now it is copying the <coughs> content so once it copies we need to perform the other transactions so let's open up a duplicate session here and keep going So now we'll get into the directory etc yum.repos.d type ls here you don't have any files which is pre representing any sort of uh, <coughs> a 
repository packages the file which defines from which location the packages has to be installed has to be created here so we are using it as local.repo so we'll just create a file by name local.repo so I'll say nano local.repo and I define the name so I'll say RHEL7 I'll say base URL is equal to I want to perform this task locally on this machine so I'll say use file and the location is uh, packages and I'll use enabled is equal to 1 and uh, GNU private guard is the private guard key which checks does it have any sort of signature with every package so I don't want it to check so I'll type gpg check is equal to 0 so I'll save this file and uh, we can just use watch command to see what is the size of our uh, file what it is copying what watch du dash h packages so it's 767 mb so it's still copying so we'll get into this packages directory as of now and we have to install a package by name create repo create repo is a package which helps us creating a SQL light <coughs> database file for all these packages so before we do that we need to check whether do we have the create repo package installed so we'll use rpm dash qa pipe to grep create repo So create repo package is already installed we don't need to do anything so all we have to do is once the packages are copied we need to create an SQL Lite database file for all these packages and start routing these packages for the client so as of now we are in the process of copying so I'll pause the video as of now and then come back to you once we have everything ready okay as of now we have completed uh, the packages which has been copied and we now we need to run create repo and we need to give the location of the packages to create a SQL Lite repository that is SQLite database repository for all the packages so as of now it is creating the SQLite repository packages so let's pause the video here so as of now we have created the SQLite database and we have the complete uh, packages which is ready so we need to test the yum server now locally so if we have to test it we need to use yum repo list so now you can see previously it was not showing any sort of database as of now you can see Yum is showing the database of 4305 
packages which is available with the repository name RHEL7. So we need to just install with the help of yum, yum install and we'll use um, a package by name FTP. to check whether yum is successfully working or not. Say yes. And it is successfully working. So this is how you go ahead and create an yum server for to install the packages <coughs> locally. Thank you and have a great day ahead. Go ahead and uh, work on the next level of uh, yum where we would be using FTP server to transfer the files across our uh, server to client so as of now we need to do changes on our configuration file etc yum dot repos dot d local dot repo so 192 2.168.0.8 is the IP address of our server which we are right now working. So we'll just open up our uh, website and we'll just use FTP. So we have pub directory. And inside the pub directory we have all our packages so we'll just copy this and what we'll do is we'll just update the same information here Save this file and we need to now run create repo with the latest updated directory to create a new SQL Lite database that is var ftp pub. In the meanwhile, we'll just pull up our client and We'll use instead of pulling up our client, we can just copy the file from the server itself. So we'll just open up a duplicate session. Login as root. Get into the directory etc yum dot repos dot d. We'll run and command scp secure copy local dot repo. Where we need to copy is 192.168.0.9.0.7 is our client IP address. For etc yum dot repos dot d. So I'll say yes. Type the password. So it is copied now for our client. So let us just cross verify it is copied for our client. etc yum dot repos dot d at local dot repo so it is there as of now so now if you see uh, our database SQL database is being complete 
and now we need to go back to our client and uh, now we will use yum repo list so now you can see our repo list was successfully able to bring up the repository and we'll just use yum install dash y httpd to install the httpd server from our server to client so now we have successfully installed our yum packages from our server to client Thank you for viewing and have a great day ahead.